Greetings everyone, and welcome to my coin collection. Today's coins are a set released by the nation of Moldova in 2018. Moldova is a landlocked country in Eastern Europe, located between Romania and Ukraine. In 2010, flint tools were discovered near Dubasari on the Lower Dniester that are between 800,000 and 1.2 million years old demonstrating that early humans were present in what is now Moldova during the early Paleolithic period. During prehistoric times, a succession of cultures inhabited the area. Archaeological evidence also shows many advancements including agriculture, animal husbandry, kiln-fired pottery, weaving, and the formation of large settlements and towns. Later, Moldova's territory was inhabited by several tribes, mainly by the Akatziroi, and at different periods also by the Bastame, Scythians, and Sarnatians. During the first seven centuries AD, the south was ruled by the Roman, then the Byzantine empires. Strategically located between Asia and Europe, Moldova was invaded by the Goths, Huns, Avars, Magyars, Pechenegs, Cumans, and the Mongols. In 1359, the medieval Principality of Moldavia was established, covering modern Moldova plus parts of Romania and Ukraine under the rule of Bogdan I. Moldavia had, as its emblem, an ancient aurochs head with a star between its horns. The aurochs was a species of large wild cattle that inhabited Asia, Europe and North Africa, from which modern cattle are considered a subspecies. The aurochs head is flanked to the right by a sun and to the left by a new moon. One of the most famous rulers of Moldavia was Stephen the Great, who held off the armies of larger nations and empires during his rule from 1457 until 1504. But in 1538, Moldavia became a vassal of the Ottoman Empire until the 19th century when it was annexed by the Russians and known as Bessarabia. In 1918, Bessarabia briefly became independent as the Moldavian Democratic Republic and then united with Romania. During World War II, it was once again occupied by the Russians, becoming the Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic. As the Soviet Union began to implode in 1990, a breakaway government took control of the region on the east bank of the Dniester, known as Transnistria, hoping to remain within the Union. However, on August 27, 1991, the Moldavian SSR declared independence and took the name Moldova, with Transnistria being unrecognised by most governments. The new country incorporated the Oroch's head symbol into the new coat of arms, with an eagle behind the shield. Even before adopting its current constitution in 1994, on November the 29th, 1993, the Republic of Moldova introduced a national currency, the Moldovan Lu. The name Lu, meaning lion in Romanian, was adopted from the Dutch Luendala, which was also known as the Lion Tala or the Lion Dollar. This was a currency of the 16th and 17th centuries, which spread throughout Europe and around the world, including the US and the African continent, through Dutch traders. It had the image of a rampant lion engraved on its reverse side, hence the name. In 2018, 25 years after the introduction of the Moldovan Lu, the National Bank of Moldova put into circulation a new family of metal coins with the values of 1, 2, 5 and 10 lei. Lei is the plural of Lu. Manufactured in accordance with the most up-to-date security and quality requirements, their innovative design offers a modern reading of medieval Moldovan insignia. Like the current British pence, which can be put together to create the shield of their coat of arms, by putting together the four coins on the reverse, the image of the state coat of arms of the Republic of Moldova can be seen. Each of the coins has a security feature whereby you can see the letters R and M in a hologram at the top on the reverse. The stylized image of the coat of arms of the Moldavian Principality is obtained on the obverse side, combining medieval heraldic elements. The one loo features a female-faced crescent moon 
with the Moldovan coat of arms below to the left. The two lay has a male-faced son with the coat of arms below to the right. The five lay has the horns of the auric surmounted by an open crown, an eight-pointed star between the horns and a heraldic rose to the right with the coat of arms to the left, while the ten lay features the personal coat of arms of Stephen the Great with the national coat of arms slightly smaller and to the left. Each of them have the country name Republica Moldova prominently featured. This is a fascinating set of coins, incorporating hundreds of years of history into their design. I particularly enjoy how the designers combined both sides of the coin to create the different emblems from the past and present in the larger patterns. I hope you've enjoyed looking at them with me. If you have, please like the video and leave a comment down below. Perhaps you would also consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss any of the upcoming coins in my collection.